In this presentation, we will discuss budget problems or potential pitfalls within the budgeting process that we want to be aware of, that we want to avoid. One problem with the budget is that there is an inherent incentive within the budgeting process often to try to understate the sales that will be budgeted for and overstate the expenses. Why? First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually, these are just items that we picked from the YouTube Shopping Affiliate Program. But that's actually good for you because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you. These are things that we actually researched, purchased, and used ourselves. Bayer Dynamic, not sure if I said that right, but this is the DT770 Pro 250 OHM Studio Reference Closed Back Headphones. I wear headphones basically every day for a large part of the day. They are important to me. Therefore, I've gone through many different kinds of headphones. I've had these for some time and they've worked quite well. They fit over my ears, but I'm still able to put my glasses on under the headphones. The headphones not pinching too tight on the glasses to give me a headache, which is nice. The quality of the padding is good and it has lasted for some time. I've had these for some time now and they haven't gotten all torn up on me or anything like that. I also like that I have a cord when I'm doing my recordings as opposed to a USB centered headphone because that frees up a USB port and I find the USB headphones to be less reliable. They come with an audio jack that looks like this, which is useful for me because that plugs into my audio interface. However, if you want to use the headphones for some other purpose, I believe it's fairly easy to get a converter to other types of audio jacks. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials because that will make it easier to hit the target. So if you're imagining the budget budgeting process as the management, the upper management is there to, of course, approve the budgeting process, communicate the process of making the budget. And then we've got the managing department managers of each department and supervisors of each uh, section of the company, then coming up with their, the budgets for their particular department, their particular segment of the company. Those department managers have an incentive, you would think, to do things like understate the sales and overstate the expenses because if they do so on the budget then it'll be easier to hit that target and they'll look good to hit the target in other words if they overstate the sales that they're going to make in their department and understate the expenses which is that's what we would want we would want sales to be high we would want uh, the expenses to be low then it'll be harder to hit that and if they don't hit the, the target then they look bad. If they set a low target that's easy to hit, low sales and high expenses, then, then higher, lower sales and higher expenses than they know they can achieve, then it'll be easier to hit the target. And when they hit the target, it will look better. So that's just an inherent problem within the budgeting process. And we have to be aware of it. And we have to be aware of the fact that we want to make sure that we have motivated departments to basically set a budget that has a target that is not too high, but achievable. And we want to be able to incentivize uh, management to set the target in a place that's reasonable so that they have the incentive so that they can inspire their department to shoot for a reasonable target rather than undershooting it. And we have to basically make that part of the culture of the organization to say, hey, we're going to we're going to reward you more. We're looking for for management that's looking to make a reasonable type of budget we'd rather have someone make a budget that's a little too high and miss it than make a budget that's going to be too low just so that they can hit it another problem inherent in the budgeting process is that we typically want to set those budgeting goals in such a fashion that there's going to be a challenging growth pattern in it so typically when we consider the budget we're considering a smooth growth trend that's what we like to see within the sales we want to see the sales we want to see the net sales going up in a nice smooth pattern 
Another problem inherent to the budgeting process is that pressure could lead people to unethical behavior. In other words, we want to set the budget to a point that's going to be difficult for people to meet, but still meetable. And we often want to see some kind of trend that's going to be a normal kind of uptrend in process. We want to see improvement over time, continuous improvement over time. And if there's going to be compensation objectives related to that, such as bonuses, for hitting a certain objective, for hitting a certain mark, that could also add to a lot of pressure uh, to make that mark. So as we set those high goals, because we need those high goals for maximum performance, we also need to be aware that people could be incentivized for unethical behavior. And again, it's gotta be in the culture of the organization to be set that, hey, we would rather have someone miss the goal, even though we set these goals and we want people to strive for them rather than do some unethical type of behavior in order to achieve the goal and possibly doing things that could be uh, fraudulent or deceiving the reports or things that are going to sacrifice the long-term vision of the company in order to meet a short-term goal. What we, want, what we don't want to have is have the long-term vision, the five-year, the 10-year being actually diminished or reduced or make it harder to reach because people are uh, doing things that are going to manipulate or harm that long-term vision in order to meet the short-term goal simply because there's pressure of that short-term goal. We want to keep the long-term vision uh, in view, in sight, and make sure that uh, the culture of the organization sees that everything should line up with that long-term vision even though we're shooting at these short-term goals. Another problem inherent in the budget, and we touched on this in the first item, is that the budget could lead to spending an amount that's going to be equal to the expenses that are allocated to that department. In other words, if we are budgeted or allocated some amount of expenses that we can't spend in a particular department, then we have an incentive to make sure that we spend everything that's allocated to our department, because if we're not, it's very likely that we will not be allocated that much in the future. So in other words, you might see spending that doesn't need to happen. We might say, hmm, we need another planter here. We might need some more chairs here. This often happens at the end of the time period, at the end of the month or at the end of the budgeting period, where you might see purchases that be in a bit in excess. And it could be possibly because they're trying to make sure that they expend or uh, spend all the money that has been allocated to them by the budget for that period. So that in the next period, they can argue that they need the same amount of money. In other words, there's not really an incentive oftentimes for us to uh, spend less money that has been allocated budgeted to us because we know that the following budget, the next budget that's going to be made is going to be based in part on the prior period. And if we didn't spend all the money that was allocated to us in the prior period in our department, it's likely that we will see less in the budget. Again, we want to basically have communication within the budgeting process and make sure that we re reward people for achieving uh, uh, their goals and making their goals and actually spending less in some way. So I'll, although the budgeting process has this problem kind of inherent in it, because we do have to allocate some expenses to departments in some way, we want to basically be aware of that and incentivize people, recognize people, notice people that are uh, spending less than the amount allocated and find some way to uh, reward that as well. Another problem with the budget is it's difficult to find the best range for the budget. In other words, we want to have a range that's going to be high enough to challenge people because that's where people maximize their performance. We want people to be challenged. That's when actually they feel better about themselves because they get to do something in a challenging fashion and try to meet an objective that is a challenge to them. And of course, that's where the company gets the most benefit as well. But if you go too far on uh, the goals and objectives and make them too difficult, then that will discourage people and it will either stress them out or it will make them say, hey, you know what, this is unachievable. The goals and objectives that are always being uh, put out there are things and goals and objectives that everybody knows are not achievable and that could lead to people just giving up and not trying at that point in time. So on one side of the spectrum, you have the goals and objectives being too low. If they're too low, you end up with people just basically relaxing and saying, I can clear this objective, no problem and not pushing themselves and when they're not pushing themselves you're actually hurting the employees a lot of times because they would actually benefit whether they would admit to it or not from a higher objective because they would be able to achieve something that is difficult for them and that usually gives benefit to the employees and of course obviously it's best for the company as well and again if the objectives are too high 
then you're going to discourage employees and they're either going to get frustrated, they might leave, or they're just going to say, they're just going to stick around and just, and just stop trying. You'll end up with the same kind of scenario here with people not doing anything because either they get stressed out and they leave and, and replaced, or they just say, hey, you know, this, the, the objectives that are given to us are always way too high. There's no way anybody can meet them. And therefore, we might as well just do whatever we, we can do here. We don't have, in either way, in either side of the spectrum, we don't have the incentive for people to really strive for the goal. So what you want is to hit that, that sweet spot for people. And again, every person is different, so it's difficult to do. But you want to hit that spot where people are really trying for the goal. Uh, it's difficult for them. And yet it's not too difficult. Uh, it's not unachievable. And uh, that's always a balancing act within the budgeting process. To recap then, some of the problems with the budgeting process that we want to be aware of as we go through it is there could be an incentive to understate sales budget and overstate expense budget to look good and hit the target. So there's an incentive for department managers to possibly uh, lower the target of their budget to make something that would be easier to hit. So we want to be aware of that and make a culture to deal with that and hopefully set up a culture so that people I uh, don't want to do that, want to make challenging goals for themselves and the company. Uh, there could be pressure could lead to unethical behavior to achieve goals. So when we set those high goals, again, we want to make sure that there's a culture within the company that says, hey, we'd rather have you not meet the goal than sacrifice the long term vision of the company or do anything that would be unethical. Budgets could lead to spending budget amount, even though it is not necessary, so budget is not reduced. In other words, it could lead to people saying, hey, this is how much was allocated for me to spend this period. I'm going to spend that amount no matter what, even if I don't have to, so that next period I uh, am allocated at least the same amount. So we want to be aware of that. That's going to be a natural incentive within the budgeting process. Again, we want to set up a culture that says, hey, it, it, it would be good. We will reward you. We will recognize you if you do good if you if you surpass what is expected in terms of the spending budget and budgets that are not realistic can reduce morale while budgets that are too easy to meet will not inspire growth in other words we want to make that budget that's somewhere in the sweet spot that departments can say hey i can meet that i can meet that goal but it's difficult it's not something that i can easily meet it's something that's going to be challenging it's a challenge that people will hopefully want to take on and aspire to